see them, but there's coyote tracks on the road here and stuff. But this is uh, kind of a non-event. Six inches of snow is boring. Well, this is sort of a normal day. At the farm, uh, you know, six inches of snow is not terribly unusual. There's been no wheel spin at all. Oh, I should have shown you the tires. These are just regular all-season tires. We're driving here. I, I've never gotten into the habit of buying snow tires. It just, you know, they're so noisy on dry pavement and most of the time. Dry pavement's what you're up against, so I just run all this all-season tires all year round and that means that a lot of times I've plowed before you know I would have plowed probably before I drove out through this I don't know if you can see how steep this is it's pretty steep this last little bit coming up to the road is if I hold up my little level it's about a 20 degree angle I think I'm going to take this real slow. There's an, another video where a fellow stopped on the steepest part. So I'm going to do the same. Just see what happens. I got it spinning its wheels. How about that? I can spin the wheels. On this thing. And I'll just back up a little bit. On this hill, momentum is your friend. Swerve around a little bit. Get the driveway prepared for the walk. There we go. Nothing like 5,000 pounds of car or whatever this thing weighs to go through stuff like that. Here's the plow road they've been through with the plow. Well, that's pretty easy. Easy peasy. But indeed, I can get stuck on a steep hill if I work at it. Now you can see the tracks. Oh, well, it's pretty deep. I'm going to do two runs at this because that way it's easier to walk. We're going to take a walk in a few minutes. It's nice to have wide tracks. Well, I'm going to drive outside my tracks while I do this. One of the nice things about this is that it's pretty easy to drive it straight. I mean, all this wiggling is where I was doing things like putting my seatbelt on. Not paying attention, but, you know, if you concentrate on going straight, it's pretty easy to go straight. I'll do that here. Take the other side off. This is now car as snowplow for a walker, so that we can go out and do the morning walk. should have taken the picture before I drove it. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll drive over here. That'll get me into deep snow. Well, that's pretty deep. I mean, I've got the car on the highest setting. That's another thing I like about it is the fact that get it up on a fairly high setting and it's not as high as the Highlander was but you know this is this is fairly graceful it's it's about as good as the Highlander I mean the Highlander I don't think would have had any trouble with this either because it's a little higher than the Tesla I think it was eight inches and uh, I think this one when it's all the way up is six Whatever, I, I can't remember the exact numbers, but the relative difference is, I think the Highlander was about two inches higher than the, the Tesla. It's, the snow isn't quite deep enough to really challenge the car. It'd be interesting to, you know, 
you call this five inches, you know, get up to about eight, Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. The road is pretty bad, it's nice and icy at the bottom. Not this road, but the, the highway out at the end. I should go out and try some acceleration runs. Oh, what the hell, I'll just try a little run here. Oh boy, that's amazing. I mean, it doesn't accelerate as fast, but it sure is controlled. That's much better than the highway. This, I don't know if you can really see it, but this road is, is basically sheet ice with snow on top. Brakes are, yeah, brakes are the, there's the trick of driving in Minnesota and Wisconsin in the winter. No matter how fast you can accelerate, you can't slow down any faster. So, you know, these all-season tires don't do real well on slowing down. season tires. These are just regular Michelin, whatever they are. And so that's not a real uh, killer tire for traction on ice. But it was fine. You know, certainly comfortable. Not, not scary at all. There you go, that's a... Actually up here it's a little less snow. Oh, we might have gotten six to seven inches. There you go, that's a... Trip down the driveway. After a... Mid-March snowfall. Pretty easy.